This is my happy holidays dance, you guys. <laughs> hey, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, you guys, I, it's been a long day and I filmed two IGTVs. I'm a little loopy right now. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today we are doing a raver holiday gift guide because it's the holiday season, if you can't already tell. I wear this shirt even when it's not the holiday season and I'm excited that now I could wear this shirt and it actually have a purpose. So today I'm gonna be going through my official gift guide for holidays, for ravers, festival goers, for your special someone, significant other, your parents if they rave, whoever in your life. Or you can also treat yourself. Just gonna give you guys a list of ideas that you guys can do. I've kind of broken it down into like different categories. Not necessarily like the item, but like categories of things. So I hope you guys like it. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe to join the Vibe Tribe. We are almost 5,000 strong and it just makes my little heart so happy. And you can also find me on social media at Vibe with Aid. Like I said, I did film two IGTVs for Vibration and Glow Effects, my whole collection, because I have a huge collection now. So go check those out, give them some love. And I'm gonna be hi highlighting some brands, so whatever brands I say, you might wanna check them out for Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals, all that good stuff. Also on my Instagram, I did add a story highlight for all the Black Friday deals I see. Last year I did a blog post for Black Friday deals, but that's just so hard to keep up to date. So I'm hoping that I will do a thread on Twitter and a story highlight on Instagram so you guys know what's up, what are the deals, what's going on so you guys can save as much money as possible. I love saving you guys money. I will tell you guys my code for certain brands if I do happen to have a code with them. Wrap up, you guys. We are getting into this gift guide. I will link it down below. I did do a blog post version that I did work super hard on, so I hope you guys like it. Yeah, so let's get into this gift guide. I also wanted to note that with these gift ideas, I tried to do gift on the lower budget end and then the higher budget end. So I really tried to do kind of a whole spectrum of things depending on what your budget is. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy this extravagant gift based on what I say. Do what makes sense for your budget. Do what's gonna work for you. At the end of the day, it's the thought that counts and the person that's receiving the gift should appreciate it no matter what. So don't stress about it too much. So yeah, like I said, I broke it down into certain categories, not necessarily by the item but the idea of the gift or like the theme of the gift. We have festival and raver supplies, DIYs, customized gifts, camping fest supplies, outfits, tickets, and Ray fam gifts. So we have seven categories that we're gonna be going through. So the first one we have is festival slash raver supplies. So that's kind of like what you bring to a festival would always be a good idea in general. If you have like a new friend coming to the rave scene or something, you could get them like a raver kit of some sort just with like all the essential items. I think is super fun, easy gift to do. You can also look into getting them a hydration pack. So my go-to hydration pack is Vibration. They've been doing deals all November and they've been doing giveaways all November. So definitely go check them out. And it's my go-to just because you can fit a lot of stuff, but it also matches whatever aesthetic of your outfits. And I super love them and I've never had any issues with them and you still stay hydrated and all that good stuff. I know some other brands that people do love is the Lunchbox, Stan Pack, Gen Z, Sojourner bags I think is another one but I typically stick with Vibration because when I like something I like something and I'll use it a bunch. I did do an IGTV of my Vibration collection so you can go check it out see which ones I like and prefer in terms of space, capacity, water, stuff like that and usage and things like that so be sure to go check that out. The next thing I will say is get your fellow raver in your life some ear Plugs. I will say this till the day I die. Wear your earplugs, people. I've forgotten to wear my earplugs and I've like regretted it so much every single time. And like it's so bad because I'm an ambassador for sound earplugs and I forget. So wear your earplugs, especially if you're gonna be on the rail. It's super important to wear your earplugs. I stick with sound earplugs. Those are just the ones that I like in terms of comfort, fit and still being able to hear the music and whatnot. Sound earplugs are super great and they did actually just come out with fanny packs as well. So now they're doing fanny packs, which these are super cool and definitely could also be a good gift. And when you do get one of their earplugs, we have them here, they do have accessories so you can get like a lanyard to go with it. You can also get 
a case to go with it. These are so clutch. I'll put this on my vibration. So like whenever I'm going away from a set and I'm not going to be near a stage or anything, I'll put them back in here. And then another thing that's super cool that they came out with is they came out with these holders. So kind of like when you see people that have like the headphones that kind of just like plug in and then like loop around the neck. It's the same idea. You put these around your, your earplugs and you put it around your neck and it's clear and no one's going to notice it. And then you don't Lose your earplugs because what do we know? We all know that Aid loses her earplugs all the time. So this little nifty invention has been so clutch for me because I don't lose my earplugs. But what have I been doing lately? I haven't been bringing them even with me. So we're going to be better about that in 2020. It's now on Ryan's checklist to ask me before any time we leave that I have my earplugs. <laughs> and then another thing that Zound has also come out with is sunglasses. So go check those out. These are super cute. They also have a couple other pairs too. But yeah, they're starting to branch out into some other stuff. It's been super dope to work with this brand. You can also use Vibe with Aid for 10% off. This is another cute little like little gift idea. I love it. And then another thing that you can think about gifting is some products maybe from Glow Effects. They have kaleidoscope, diffraction glasses, whips, flow toys, a bunch of whole stuff. And so if you know someone that's been wanting to learn how to whip, if you know someone that could use some fun glasses, goggles, if you want to treat yourself to it, by all means. I just recently discovered my new favorite pair. You guys might have seen it on Emma Capotis' Instagram. Bitch. I love these. One, they're cute. They're stylish. They're sleek. Two, you can see through them. So like most kaleidoscope glasses, if you've seen them, they have the kaleidoscope pattern all over the glasses. So when you look at it, you look through it. I'll put a clip here. You don't see a whole lot. You do get the double pat. You get the visuals. You see double a little bit. You get that kind of whole shenanigans. This you can still see through, but then when you move on your outer like peripheral vision, you're getting the kaleidoscope effect. It's the best of both worlds. I am stoked about these. Stoked. So cute. I wore these to seismic. These went off, honestly. <laughs> Glow effects, you did not have to go off that hard, honestly. <laughs> and then some other things that you can look into is like getting them maybe a portable charger. There's like the nasal inhalers that are super calming to that are super calming to use, like boom boom. I just tried out one called Terps. It's T-U-U-R-P-S. They have a lavender one. It smells so good, just saying. I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys, don't worry. The next category is DIY. So if you're balling on a budget, you can't really spend a whole lot of money, but you still want to do something for someone, give them something good, give them something that's gonna make them feel good and whatnot, you can do something yourself. So that can be a full range of things. So I recommended like, if you're able to somehow steal their wristbands and put them onto a bulletin board, just tell them, hey, I'm gonna borrow these, I'm doing Doing something for you don't worry about it whatever their festival wristbands in like a shadow box or like something along those lines I think that's super cute and unique way to just kind of like do something for someone and it's something that they can keep forever and display and whatnot so I do have a blog post on how to display festival memorabilia that I'll link down below for you guys to check out it's super cute way you can also do like a photo collage or like a scrapbook of like festival memories with someone I think those are always so cute and like cause me to tear up that's always really cool if you've been like collecting Polaroids and like whatnot. And this last one, I saw this pop up around Valentine's Day, but I wasn't able to find the original one. So I found this one on Twitter and someone had gotten a, they'd gotten a whole bunch of gifts, but one of the gifts that they got was this framed poster and it was like a festival lineup, but it was like every artist that they've seen together. <laughs> So cute. That was like when Ryan made me a mix for Valentine's Day of like every artist we had seen together and I was just like so emotional about it. That's such a super cute idea. It really wouldn't cost much. You could make a poster on like Canva, C-A-N-V-A, and then you could get it printed on like Vistaprint, which Vistaprint prints are super cheap. They get there super quick. And then you would just need a frame. Like, look at that. That's so easy. Ugh. The next category we have is camping festival supplies. So if you are a camping festival fiend, you're going to Forest, you're going to Okeechobee, you're going to Shambhala, you're going anywhere and everywhere that is camping festival, or you just like to go on adventures and camping adventures and whatnot. You 
you could invest in some camping supplies just to get you guys all ready, get you guys excited. So you could check out companies like Chill Bean, which is like inflatable couches. Tried out one for Dirty Bird Camp Out and I absolutely loved it. It is definitely awesome to have to just chill out by the water, rest your feet, chill out in the campground, or chill out at a set if you're needing to take a break. I have a review of their product that I will link down below for you guys to check out. Another thing you can also get is a hammock. So a lot of people I asked on Twitter, they recommended Eno double nest hammock probably saying that wrong it is a little bit more on the expensive side but I've also heard that people have had it for like years it's super durable it's super high quality so that could be something worth investing into and then if that is too expensive for you you could also look on Amazon and look at the different options that they have look at reviews things like that hammocks are super cool especially at forest because you can just put them up on trees and chill out by the sets chill out in the shade and everything like that a lot of people always bring hammocks to camping festivals it's definitely something to recommend Another thing you could also gift is tapestries. So a lot of people bring tapestries to, to camping music festivals because you can put it up on your easy ups and it, and it gives you guys some shade. Also decorates your campground super, super dope. So you could get one from like Etsy to support some small shops for sure. I saw a ton of cute options on there. You can also get a custom one from University Customs. They do custom tapestries. So if you have a design that you have in mind, you could reach out to them. And then the last thing, I just put a tent. I don't know. You could probably do like a whole camping bundle kind of thing. So why not throw a tent in there? We used the Coleman two-person tent for Electric Forest. That one worked out really well. I really like that one. And then we have customized gifts. So there are some companies out there that do a lot of custom gifts. If you are wanting to do your favorite artist on like a pashmina or something like that, so you can reach out to University Customs. They do custom jerseys, flags. They did my flag, the Vibe with Aid flag. Jerseys, flags, tapestries, all that stuff. Super helpful, really easily customizable. They can literally do any design. I've seen a lot of people get some super dope designs from them, so definitely check them out. I will also say Slap Queen is another good one. She does custom pashminas, stickers, face masks, t-shirts, camis, whatever you want, honestly. And she has like car decals. She's super awesome to work with. There's also Bella Boo Creation. She doesn't have a website. She just has her Instagram, but she also has a ton of customizable options that you guys can reach out to her for. She's the one that sent me this pop socket, which was so cute. So everyone, please go reach out to her, get something from her because this is so freaking cute. The next one I have is outfits and accessories. You could gift an outfit to someone. You could gift an accessory. You guys all know my favorite brands to shop from. Ritz Blossoms, Rave With Me Hente, Taste full girls freedom rave wear rolita couture daisy daydreams the light couture is an awesome one blazed and confused is another one rave after rave if i haven't said her yet <laughs> magical mini pretty little player maid that's so hard to say super fast bestie bestie dolls kill yeah that's like my whole list of things i will link them all down below put my codes on there if you guys need them. I know they're all gonna have super hot Black Friday deals and Cyber Monday deals, so definitely keep your eye on those ones. And then for guys, you could look at Crazed Wear, Rave With Me Hente, Freedom Rave Wear, The Light Couture. Guys I know are super hard, but there are some options, and you can also match with your significant other. We love that. Sorry, my hat keeps on like getting all messed up. Another thing you can also do is if there is someone that has a specific artist that they love, a lot of artists are gonna be coming out with merch. So keep an eye on that. Merch is also a really great gift idea just to give to someone. If a, there's a shirt or a hoodie or something that they've really been wanting, you could really make their day with that. Option if you're not wanting to get merch is to get electric family bracelets. So those bracelets are branded with different artists. They have different sayings on them, but with each purchase of a bracelet, pro Proceeds go to a certain charity. So we love making a difference with our gifts. It makes the heart a little warmer. The next category we have is tickets. And I know tickets can be really expensive, but if you are wanting to get a ticket for someone and you happen to have that in your budget, you could get them a ticket to their next festival, their next show, and go together and everything like that and make it something that you guys do together. The last thing I have is gifts for the rave fam. So your little rave fam, if you guys are trying to figure out what you guys are, if you wanna do like a little gift exchange between each other, you guys are doing Secret Santa, or you guys wanna all pitch in on a gift together, you could do certain things like get a customized rave flag like we talked about earlier. You could do customized jerseys, matching shirts. 
things like that to give to each other. You guys could also work on making yourself a totem or something. But I did want to mention Lit Totems here. They do customize totems. They are on the more pricier side starting at $399 I know but if you guys have a super big Ray fam you guys could split up the cost of that I paid for my totem all on my own using the money that I make from vibe with aid I just reinvested in a totem but you guys could look into getting a totem or something like that or you guys could just make it a collaborative thing and make a totem on your own I'm giving you guys both options here I'm not telling you to go to lit totems but if you guys want a super sick totem definitely reach out to them because they did such a good job with my totem I'm sure whatever you guys do create if you guys do decide to create a totem would be super awesome but that could be something super fun for the holidays get you guys ready to go for 2020 festivals. That way you guys have a super dope totem going into the new year. One final thing that you guys can do that's super easy is make candy. I feel like candy is just going away slowly, but we gotta keep the plur alive. So bracelets, cuffs, necklaces, those are such easy gifts that you guys can do, especially if you have a lot of leftover candy, like making materials, you can easily make a gift to someone, make their day and whatnot. And it's such an easy, personable thing that you can do. So I highly recommend trying to make a couple of candy if you can, and it'll definitely work within your budget. And if you need to get any candy making supplies, go to either Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's with Black Friday, Cyber Monday. I'm sure they're gonna have deals on all that stuff. So you can easily stock up for the new year, make some candy for your Ray fam, your friends, and things like that, and spread the plur. I hope you guys liked this video. I just wanted to give you guys some ideas for the holidays. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if it was by giving this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to join the Vibe Tribe. I love you guys so, so much. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I am putting everything down below in the description box that I talked about. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. I think this is going up right before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're surrounded by your loved ones. And I'm super grateful and thankful for each and every one of you guys. Thank you for all the support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.